Gosh, it's so beautiful outside, yeah. just stepping outside. Even that Why do we have to be here? <laughs> well, um, you know, with all the events of the last two weeks, I kind of lost track of time, and it's already Oktoberfest time in Cape Coral today. Yeah. So and, and, like, people didn't decorate their houses for Halloween because the, the hurricanes <laughs> would have blown away. So, yeah. so it's like, this is the weekend. This is where yeah. we get in the fall spirit. Well, hopefully. The helping. So get those giant pumpkins and everything yes. out this weekend. But yes. make sure you time down because that breeze was really something else the last few days. And it will stay breezy for much of the upcoming week. Weekend. But overall, I think it's fair to call things as a, a fine Friday forecast as we don't have anything major in the way of rain today and we don't see any opportunity for severe weather around here for a good long while. So that's something to be thankful for. Also something to be thankful for, as we mentioned right at the top of the newscast, we have no local tropical weather concerns, despite the fact that something may try to organize in the Caribbean. There is no indication it would have anything at all to do with our local weather forecast. So some great news there. Outside right now, we're at 76 degrees at Mariner High School in Cape Coral, a little warmer in Lehigh Acres in Naples, and 76 as well as our current temperature right now at Riverdale High School in the city of Fort Myers. You can see the wind speeds right now are kind of in the low teens, and we have had a few wind gusts around 25 and 30 miles per hour today, and that'll be with us for the rest of the afternoon, along with a few more clouds as we move through 3 and 4 and 5 o'clock tonight. If you are doing something outdoors tonight, be it you know, October Fest at, at the German American Social Club in Cape Coral or high school football games. You, you should be just fine tonight, uh, but you may want to consider a long sleeve shirt or a, a sweatshirt or something if you're not a big fan of cooler weather, because along with the you know, fairly cool temperatures for our standards, that breeze will be noticeable for the rest of the day today. As you'll see here through one o'clock, we'll be expecting it to hail from the northeast anywhere from 10 to 25 miles an hour, and it will stay breezy throughout the evening. 5 p.m. tonight, forecast winds anywhere from 15 to 20 miles per hour. And even though after sunset, the wind for uh, the wind uh, forecast values are expected to lighten up at least a little bit, it, it will still be a touch breezy after the sun goes down when the temperatures will be tumbling as well. So just a heads up there if you're doing something fun here on your Friday night. The overarching weather setup it really hasn't changed it terribly much over the past 24 hours. The front that brought in the big change in weather is now way off to the east of us, and we've got this big blocking ridge of high pressure off toward the north of our area. The wind flow around it is what's causing this breezy northeast wind we've had for so much of the week and why we'll have it through the upcoming weekend. We can also be thankful for that ridge of high pressure because it's pushing downward and keeping away from us all these concerns that are happening in the tropics. This area here in the western Caribbean has a 50 50 shot of becoming at least a tropical depression as it moves towards Central America and Southern Mexico this weekend. But again, because of the steering currents, all of the tropical air stays way too far to the south to do anything to our local weather forecast. So if you do happen to hear about a new tropical depression or a tropical storm forming, it's all right for us. It has nothing to do with the local weather here at home. Instead, the weekend outlook looks fine. The temp temperatures tomorrow once again uh, kind of popping back up in the middle. 80s and again we'll have a nice northeast breeze throughout the day with sustained winds around 15 miles per hour as we get past the sunset hour on Saturday night. But again, nothing major in the way of rain coming up on Saturday and nothing major in the way of rain coming up on Sunday as well. We do have a little better chance of maybe one or two showers riding along the breeze for the second half of the weekend, but shouldn't be a big deal for us at all. When it comes to temperatures next week, you know, when you consider that the average high is 87 and the average low is 69, we are right on pace now with what's considered normal for this stretch of October next week. So make sure you spend as much time outdoors and enjoy it. Okay, send it back over to you guys, Kelly.